Hey guys, welcome back to Downfall Part 3. Experiencing some audio issues you may have noticed in the last two episodes about the master volume of this game versus how loud I am. I cannot find a way to turn down the master volume on this game so that you can have your volume overall lower while watching the video and still hear me. So I'm just going to try and talk over it when I have to. I hope this is better. I have scooted my microphone closer to me and I'm going to try and remember to speak loudly. So, all right. Um, you may remember in the last part, we got a hotel room here at this creepy hotel and my wife is acting a little strange so now we are just getting out to do some exploration what a camino mailbox joe and ivy davis flat four looks like there's something inside uh is this a memory what's happening it's locked but maybe i could just force it open I mean, can we? I mean, it's our mailbox. Damn it, my fingers are too big. If only I could pry it open with something. No problem. We'll find something. I remember this guy, Bob. We hired him when we moved to my parents' place a few years back. It's been in our home ever since. The flowers are looking a little rough. Nope. Even if I had time for this, they're all wilted anyway. <laughs> yeah, they'll be smelling raggedy flowers. Uh, let's open this locker. Is there anything in it? This looks like one of my books. What is it doing here? That's it? Okay. I don't want to go in there yet. I'm trying to see what's down this way. Nothing. Great. The staircase has been blocked by the wall. Oh, yeah. That's right. We're in his dream. That's what this is. It's locked. Well, okay. So... Maybe we weren't supposed to come in here yet, but a cat magnet and a book is all we appear to have. We can't use that. There's nothing. Haven't I tried everything? Yes. What do I do here? It's a door to the basement. Nobody goes down there anymore. Well, come on. Open mailbox. My fingers are too big. If I could pry it with something. Well, what are we going to pry it with a magnet? Let's try it. Nope. Can't think of anything. Uh, hmm. Why can't I get out of here? Let's examine the book. Most of the books I own are written by Stephen King. What can I say? I'm a fan. Oh! There's a screwdriver. Inside a book. How odd. Better take it with me. Well, I guess we've got a way to break in now. There's a letter. There's a 10 pound note and a key inside. Weird, why would anyone send me this? Well, we just so happen to need a key for this door.
Maybe the 10 pounds is to buy drugs in the basement. Hmm. It won't work. The furnace has been broken for years. Well, let's see what happens. Nothing. Ha! Well, he knew. Is there anything in here? Salmon. Rusty old furnace, and yeah, it's broken. We'll leave it open. We're irresponsible. Cat clock. Take that. Hmm. Who's there? Hey, who are you? Floor, even though there's beds available. Maybe we fell out. Ivy? She must have already gone downstairs. It's breakfast time. All right. It's a very old mirror. I hope you guys like my singing. If you can even hear it over this. Oh! Good morning, Mr. Davis. Did you sleep well? What the fuck is this? Oh, Mr. Davis, such foul language. You might be the man I thought you were after all. Full of surprises without a doubt. Um. Where the fuck is my wife? Oh, she had to go. Not at first, she sat here for a bit. Wrote a note, a letter, I think. Maybe it's to you. But then she met Sophie. Who? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. They're still here somewhere. But I don't think she wants you to look for her. Joe? Uh... Who is that Sophie? Her room is just behind your wall. 102. I told you it's not good to disturb her. Now that she's awake, she will never leave. What does that mean? If she's even half as mad as you, my wife's not safe with that, Sophie. And I thought we were friends, Joe. Why did you think that? But I can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. You'll feel all these worries fade away in no time at all. Ma'am, do you see who's here at these tables? I don't care about breakfast. Well, that's not good. They say it's the most important meal of the day. This is madness. I've got to go. I'll find my wife and we're leaving. I was afraid you'd say that. But fine, I won't stand in your way. As a matter of fact, I'll help you. I've left a key to Sophie's room on the reception desk. Maybe it's not too late. 
So we're gonna just go break into Sophie's room instead of knocking. Oh, hello. You little what? bastard. Should not have come in here. This was probably a loop. Alright, back to get murdered. There you are. Oh, it's different. This is the end of the road, you sneaky son of a bitch. Is it? Oh yeah, real good job catching the cat. Catch this damn cat. How? Stop running, you fucking cat. Oh, 
Did the furnace just slam shut? Got it. may have a gas leak. That seems to be what's going on here. Sophie. <laughs> See? It wasn't that hard now, was it? Uh... Where's my wife? She's still around here somewhere, but hidden away, so you couldn't find her. But why? Why would she have to hide from me? She found a monster inside her, and no one can ever see. Even you. There's something wrong going on here, and you will tell me what it is. Oh, there's plenty wrong here, Joe. I don't know where to start. And I'm not sure if you're ready for it yet. What is this place? Why all the... mirrors? <laughs> this is the madness, Joe. Let's try to enjoy it while we can. I'm not mad. It's this place that's mad. You didn't answer my question. Where are we? I don't know where you are, Joe. But I am home. Why did you break all these mirrors? Let's just say your lovely wife can put up quite a fight. But it was not enough. Did you say a monster? Don't tell me you didn't see it. It's been lurking around for quite a while. There are no monsters. You don't know what you're talking about. But you know this monster, Joe. It's the kind that lives in your mirror and whispers bad things when you're alone. And if you start listening, 
it grows stronger. Then, then there is no going back. You fall and keep falling until there is nothing. Do you want to see? Just look into one of these broken mirrors here. Go on, see it for yourself. Okay, I'll do it. Which one? Any. This will do. Saw it for yourself. Isn't she a pretty, pretty girl? <laughs> it doesn't really matter if you believe in monsters, Joe. It won't make them go away, you know? Sometimes, there's just nothing you can do. But sometimes, if you're willing to sacrifice everything, you can achieve the impossible. I'll do anything to save Ivy. Good. Then I'll tell you what to do. It's very... simple, really. You just have to kill me. What? Why? I want to die, Joe. It's no big deal. I'm just a memory anyway. We kill memories all the time. What do you mean, you're a memory? That's exactly what I am. A memory of Sophie. There are four of us here. The others are mostly raving lunatics. But not me. If you kill us all, you will open her hiding place. A world inside a mirror. The only one that's still not broken. But, how do I know if you're telling the truth? Look around you. You're not in Kansas anymore. I'd already told you. This is the madness. Joe. Mm. This is so messed up. It's I wasn't very a simple. Kill four memories. But me first. How? How? How should I kill you? Poison me. What? Just give me something. I want to go to sleep and never wake up again. It won't hurt that way. That'd be I, my choice. I don't. I'll do it myself, Joe. I think that old fool Dr. Z had a stash of poison down in the basement. All I need is for you to find it and bring it here. This is a terrible idea. There's no other way. I am that one good memory of Sophie, you know? Just before things went to shit. And that's why I have to die first. I'll... think about it. 
Oh, I know you will. Alright, well. We're gonna end this part here. Looks like we have quite the task ahead of us. I hope this video has sounded better and it is acceptable and you are enjoying the story. Because I know I am. This is my type of game. Put your interpretations of these dreams he's having in the comments below. This is nuts. I want to know what you think. So, I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.